Welcome to PDAC 2024. A new story today trading on the London Stock Exchange. We have Panther Metals with a very interesting asset near Thunder Bay. With us is Darren Hazelwood, CEO. Good afternoon, Peter. Thanks for having us here. Uh, so tell us, some, you've recently had some really interesting news out of that project. Yeah, look, we, um, we optioned the project in 2021 with uh, Broken Rock Resources. Right. It's highly prospective Greenstone Belt. We know why nobody else has been there. It's a challenging area to get into, even though it's so close to Thunder Bay. It's about two and a half hours. You know how many road. times we hear highly prospective, right? So why is yours highly prospective? We've put six holes into the VMS prospect there. And in those six holes, we had five at Wishbone. We've confirmed that that is a sub C4 VMS. We've confirmed mineralization at 11.6% zinc. We've hit four brand new lenses. And uh, if you move eight kilometers long to the second part of the VMS story on there, right. that survey, one hole, and that hole on the metallurgical workers confirmed that is another VMS. We've had the likes of world-renowned expert Bruce Gemmel look at our core. Um, a lot of people are getting excited about this. We believe we're uncovering the next VMS camp in Canada. Right. All it is now is down to step out drilling. So VMS is commonly compared to the pearls on a lady's necklace. You find one, you find another one, you find another one, and they string along. How far do you think you go? At this stage, to give you some context of scale here, I talk about the wishbone area. But this location is actually about 10 kilometers long by two kilometers wide on its own. Okay. It, if you do the comparison to the Sturgis Lake Greenstone Belt, which the Canadian legend uh, Jim Franklin has okay. said he believes that the Sturgis Lake Greenstone Belt had five producing VMS mines in the late 60s to the early 90s, all produced commercially. He believes the Sturgis Lake Greenstone Belt is a sister Greenstone Belt to the Abonga Greenstone Belt, which is what we're working on. Really? Uh, so, and for, Wishbone on its own, as I say, it's 10 kilometers long, two kilometers wide. Go over to, to survey. That area is, a, is an exploration target for a junior explorer on its own. This is three kilometers long. It's about half a kilometer wide. We've put one hole in. Then you've got other areas that we already wish to attack, which is the Otter Tooth area. Um, all the, the metallurgical work, the signatures, the EM mag, and the data we've collected on the other areas, we strongly believe this is another VMS. So it, it's highly prospective. It's hugely prospective, but it's not just hugely prospective. We're actually getting the results from extremely small work programs that, that the market needs to pay attention to. We're not saying to the Canadian market, to UK market, that we believe we're developing the next VMS camp just for some marketing gimmick. This right. is real work. This is boots on the ground. And the team has done an amazing job with a very limited amount. Then I imagine you have some interesting maps up at the website. We certainly have. All right, so investors go take a look at the Panther Metals website. Signing off from PDAC 2024, Darren, thank you for your time. Panther Metals. Thanks, Peter.